Hello and welcome. So we have our panel picked out. We have it all planned out on what size squares we're going to use, what size window panes we're going to use. If you missed that video, <coughs> check it out after this one right here that walks you through on how we chose our panel and how we decided how big we wanted the squares to be, the windows, and the window panes. So now we need to start cutting this up. So come along and let's cut this up so we can start piecing it together. Just create with fabric and floss. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is kind to kind of straighten it out on and square it up. So I did that on two sides here and I left it on the extra ends just that way it's I have that extra lead way. And so now we know we want this mousse in one square. And so I took my six and a half inch ruler and I laid it down centering my mousse so I can be able to make sure he is in that frame that I need him to be. And I just made some little slits so then that way I know. And so now we're just going to start cutting into our strips. And I like to cut into strips and then cut into the, um, the other individual squares. And because we have a few inches an inch or so to play around with, I am actually going to cut a sliver off right here. And I'm going through the whole panel because you want it to make sure that it's lining up throughout the whole design. You don't want it crooked. So yeah, it's just a little, about a quarter inch I cut off, <clears throat> which the window pane is going to go in there so it won't make that big of a difference. And I'm just lining my ruler up with those little dashes that I made. And so you want to keep it laid out. As you're cutting, you don't want to mix up your pieces. You want to make sure that you leave them in the orientation that they're supposed to go. And I have it folded in half. That way I can make sure to be able to, I'm cutting through And keeping it all straight. So we should have five strips. And then you're going to cut this way the same measurement that you cut your strips in. So what I like to do is take and lay them down in the orientation that they're supposed to go. Not to mix them up. And because I want the mousse, I lost my, there it is. Because I want the mousse to fit in A certain way we are going to cut off at the end and so by stacking them up we know that they're all going to now line still line up so you want to make sure that they're all all even 
and then cut all the way up to the top. You can do this one at a time if you'd like. The nice thing is, is if you actually take a picture of your panel, or you have multiple panels, in the case like I do, you would be able to figure out how it goes, lays back in. And I think I'm going to do this a couple at a time here. So let's get our moose. We'll start with him. And line him up. And let's see how much we're going to cut off the bottom. That will make it easier to decide to cut the rest. Okay, so it looks like we're going to cut an inch and a quarter off the bottom. So then that way I'll know with the rest of them. And so, here is the moose block. And now I'm just going to cut out the rest and stack them in the orientation that they need to go. Now I just got a flannel back tablecloth up. And I just laid them out so I can see and have them in the right orientation so my design don't get mixed up when I start to sew them together. And I'll leave it just like this. So the next thing that we need to do is cut our dark fabric at however wide you're making your window panes. So mine I have to cut at one and a half inches. And these are gonna go across the bottom here. And then the tan, we're going to cut at one and a half, and it's going to come down the side. And they're going to come onto the left-hand side because, as you see, the sun is coming, or the light is coming in this direction as per the highlights and the shadows on the moose. And so that's how we want. So this side of the window pane is going to be lit up. So that's why we want to cut it that way. <clears throat> you can also see, not by choice, because you know my moose was my main focus of getting in, but all my geese are in. And they, <clears throat> this one, the wing got clipped just a little bit, but you know, they're flying. And so you're not gonna be able to see all of them at once. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the window pane one and a half inches by the width and height of our block. And then we're going to do a half square triangle to fit in the corner, which is going to give us that mitered look. And it will match up at the corner and then just blend in. So I'm going to finish cutting my material and lay it out on my flannel backing so I can see what it's going to look like and then, then I can just be able to pull and do the stitching all at once. If you followed me so far and you liked what you've seen, you got some value out of this video, maybe give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so they can learn how to create a beautiful quilt top with using a panel. So here you can get the gist of what it's going to look like. And you can see the little squares that have nothing there. That's where we're going to put our half square triangles and I will put a link in the description below but there's also a card up here at the top where we're going to make eight half square triangles at one time so make it a lot easier to make all these half square triangles 
<clears throat> so this is how I'm laying out my panel for this quilt top. And if you stayed with me through the whole video, I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Coming on screen now is the playlist for working with panels. So you can see all the videos in this series, but all the other panels, quilts that we have made. And then there's also a video coming up that YouTube feels that you may be interested in. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And check down in the description. There's many of ways that you can support this channel even further. So I can continue to bring you great tutorials on how to create beautiful quilts by using panels. Until then, happy quilting my friends.